Hello everybody and welcome back to Skybees. And in this episode, we upgrade our altar to tier four and we also make our well of suffering ritual. So we can kill zombies and fill our blood altar automatically. So we don't have to keep sacrificing our own blood. So I hope you enjoy. Okay, so today we're going to be making ourselves the Well of Suffering. Pretty much it's a ritual you can do in blood magic that will harm mobs around the area, which we're going to build a box above this thing with mobs that spawn in it using a spawner, which I just collected in the nether. And it's going to damage them and suck their life and put it inside the blood altar. So we can do large quantities of infusion. Right now I'm doing like 30 stone, which is going to require like 30 so... Uh, life essence um i put a hopper down because you can put in more than one in this thing but it's just when you're doing it by hand you can only do one at a time and since we don't have like any special pipes that we can use at the moment i'm gonna have to do it this way so the first things we need to do is make all of the ritual stones that we're gonna need to actually craft the actual like well ritual so in here i should have my ritual orb or just my magician's orb and let me just give it a little bit of life essence. Careful not to kill myself. And all I have to do is ritual stone is made like this. So just need a bunch of obsidian. So put the obsidian in the corners, put the orb in the center, surround it with these. I need a total of 36. So it's a total of 36 of these things and plus an extra four because I need to make like the actual master one. So 36, 40. That's as many as I need. And then craft one master ritual stone and that's everything. So the only other thing we need to make now is if I put this in there and just grab one because I need to transform all of these things. Has this transformed yet? Nope. I need to make all of these different uh, inscription tools. Now it allows us to make the ritual diviner and then this guy will allow us to actually craft the actual ritual. But we also need to make ourselves our large bloodstone brick now. And I know we have our weak blood shard and I think I could just combine that with stone. Can I just do that in here? Yes, and I can either do this design or I could turn it into blood brick because uh, either one works. And then just put these on top like this. And once these stone transform, it's almost there. I think when it gets down to maybe like uh, 10 buckets of blood, it will be finished because it requires one bucket each and there's 30 in there. So 30 buckets and I think I started in like 40 something. So once it gets down to about 10 buckets or so, this thing should all craft. Allow us to make our 28 um, blank runes. Put them down and upgrade this thing to tier 4. And if we can, maybe make more self-sacrifice and capacity runes. Even some of the augmented ones. But I think I need the tier 4 altar first. So that's that one. Next, we need to make ourselves a lava crystal. I need myself 3 buckets. So, 1, 2, 3. And I need to grab 3 buckets of lava. So, 1, 2, 3. Hopefully, I can make this thing straight away. Yep. Perfect, I need to put this on top of the blood altar now and upgrade this guy into a weak activation crystal. So, let's get started with putting down the area that we're going to be making our, well, area for our mobs to spawn. Right, so what I need to do is build up a few blocks here. I don't want to say I want to mess with that. So, maybe this many blocks high before. Uh, You don't go in there. Let me actually remove this hopper. I don't need it right now. Break all this. And is this tall enough? Um, where is my book? Here it is. I want to see how far down. Oh, they all transformed. So we have 34 blank slates now. Let read the book just in a second. I just want to transform all this now into the other things. So stone. Actually, how do I use this again? Ah, okay. So it's done like this. So I just need to put stone right here. I only have enough stone for 14. Did I smelt up? I did. I wasn't sure if I smelt up a lot more stone, but clearly I did. So that's good. So stone down like this. I need a total of 28. That's 23. So 23, 28. There we go. So now if I just come over here and remove the logs, I should be able to make this thing a tier 4 altar. And there we go. Now I need my seer sigil to be able to tell if it is a tier 4 altar now. So where did I put that? I think it's in here. Is it? Or is it in here? Oh, it's in here. Okay. And yeah, it's a tier 4. Also, I was reading in the book, and I think that icon at the bottom there on the left, the little black bo uh, block with the green on it, I think that's like charge. It's in the book here, 
if we go back to the in this uh, index here, there's a charging rune. And it says it will charge the actual altar up. It will siphon LP to charge an internal buffer, and when the next item is placed inside, it will instantly consume all the stored charge and apply it to the crafting item at a one-to-one -one ratio. So, for instance, if there was 64 buckets of blood stored in the internal buffer because of those charging runes, put the stone down, it'll instantly transform into 64 blank slates. That's what I'm hoping it is. Uh, I don't know if I'll actually do it or not, but... Uh, it's interesting to see. We might even try it. I don't know. It depends on how difficult um, or how needed this is because I do need demonic slates and a master blood orb. So yeah, the Well of Suffering. If we look at the image right here, we can see the highest point is this block right here and it comes down to a total of three high. Is that correct? Yes. So all I have to do is just make sure that the corner blocks are out of line of the glowstone by tree. So as long as it's about two blocks above which it clearly is, I should be able to put where that stone block is, the actual master and ritual stone. So master ritual stone, put you right here. And then when I have my division uh, ritual diviner, we should be able to actually like craft everything. So let me put this in the blood altar right now and get this transformed up. How many buckets does this require to transform? 10 buckets. Okay. And there is more than 10 buckets in there. Right. So, if that's the case, it goes up one extra block high, meaning if I was to go up two, and then right here, build my platform, there should be plenty room for the actual, like, ritual. So, we'll build our spawning box right here. So, we're going to make it a 9x9 nine nine box. So, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on this side, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we're going to go up like this, and in total, it should be nine. So, one, eight, nine. Yeah, it is a nine by nine. So, one, two, three, four, five. Go up, and then two, three, four, five up. And then just fill this entire box in. Right, there we go. So, all I have to do now is put the spawner down uh, right here. And I'm not going to take the cardboard box off just yet, because this right now is blazes. And while I was killing all the mobs up there when I was using the the sentient, or, yeah, the sword, the sentient sword, uh, to get rid of most of the mobs, I did use my capturing sword, and I got myself a zombie egg. Villagers would be better, because they will provide 200 mils each, but zombies are just as good, and apparently there is a spider in here. Okay, get out of here, and so what I need to do is take this cardboard box off, change it to zombies, and put it back on, and then we'll upgrade it later on to have extra speed and everything later. So, this thing has made ourselves our weak activation crystal. All we have to do now is just put these on, and how much blood does these require each? Only a thousand. Okay, that's not that bad. There's number one, number two, number three, and last but not least, number four. So, I just realized I'm actually going to need a few torches now to stop mobs from spawning on top of the big box I just made. Let me grab them, and while we're here, let's make ourselves our ritual diviner. And I think I'll shift right click, or... Yeah, shift right click to change the mode. So we want Ritual of Well of Suffering. Unless it's the other ritual one, the Dusk one I need to make. It might need to be the Dusk Ritual Diviner. Um, so let me see, because there is this one, and I upgraded to this one, which requires Demonic Slays. And I think the Dusk one is the, the one that needs the Well of Suffering. Because going through this guy, I'm not seeing Well of Suffering. There is like this Ritual of Full Spring. Which I think actually spawns like passive mobs. Now, full spring just makes a, a source of water, but I know there is one that actually does spawn mobs. Increases the maturity rate of baby animals. That might be actually really good. Uh, ritual of regeneration, ritual of crusher, ritual of the feathered knife. Drains health from players in its area, puts LP into nearby blood altars. Uh, LP gains are affected by runes of self sacrifice. So that's just if it wants to damage me. Oh, it actually tells us what rune to use right there. Hang on. Well, it's suffering dusk. Okay, so we do need to make dusk. But because we have a few of these reinforced ones right now, I need to upgrade this into demonic. So I need to upgrade this into imbued. Actually, I should have some imbued left. Or maybe not. I don't know. But upgrade this to imbued and then upgrade it to demonic in a tier 4 altar. So I need to make two um, demonic slates and then I need to make an inscription tool dusk, which requires a block of coal. So I'll be back when I have all of them.
All right, got myself everything I need. So upgrade this to Dusk. There we go. Now for shift right click, Theranaid. Oh, and I actually have them all as well. But all we're looking for, is, oh, I just passed it. We need Well of Suffering, which is, where is it? There it is, Well of Suffering. Now I did actually move this down two blocks because I actually used the book to see the actual layout of it, which I forgot I could actually do. And yeah, if I, well, if I put it like that, it's gonna be wrong. But one more down, which is where exactly where this thing is gonna be, uh, it all lines up. So it sits right on top of this thing and touches the bottom of that. So all I need to do is you can see it actually lays it out for me because I have all of the ritual stone already. So just right click it or hold right click and it will put down all of the runes. You should put down everything and it shouldn't. Yep. It stops right clicking when you ran out and all of them should be down, which is exactly what we want. I need to put a torch right here. The only thing that was spawned there is a spider or a baby zombie or something. And that's pretty much it. So all I need to do is just right click this thing. You feel a push, but too weak to perform this ritual. I don't think there's enough blood in my life network. So where is my magician's orb? You are... Where are you gone? There you are. I need to actually absorb a lot more blood right now. I'll probably put you in the altar too. But you feel a push, but are too weak to perform this ritual. How am I too weak? There's still literally not enough blood in this ritual. Let me just see, because I know it requires a certain amount to activate it. You feel a push, but are too weak. How am I too weak? Is there something I'm forgetting to do? Oh, I know I had this issue before. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Maybe hold this thing? Oh, I saw something there, but I missed it. I think it's actually working. So if I remove the torches in here, let a zombie spawn, and let's see if he takes any damage. Oh, yep, they're taking damage. That means that they are being damaged by the ritual, and they will be filling this guy up. And is it? Six, seven, 700, 825. We're getting 125 millibuckets of blood every time. Now that can be improved by two things. One, more mobs, and if we had a speed thing. So the only option is more mobs, meaning I just need a bunch of clocks and sugar. So I'll well give it all the sugar I can. I'm gonna need a bunch of gas tears. Uh, what else does it require? I can't remember exactly. So sugar, clocks, oats, oh, fermented spider eyes. That just increased the max nearby entities. Ignore spawn conditions. Can't do that. Increase range. I'd actually probably like to decrease the range. And inverts behavior of modifiers. Maybe I should add redstone control onto it so that I can do that. Do we eat? Oh, yeah. We don't have links in this thing. So I'm going to have to use like a redstone um, or an RF tools transmitter. Right. So I got myself a redstone transmitter and receiver. Uh, I don't have the clocks, but I'll make the clocks now in a minute. Sounds like there's something else in here. Oh, there's creepers, apparently who are nearly already dead. Right, so I forgot to grab the comparator, um, but I can actually just put this down right now. So the transmitter, uh, this, I can't remember, is it the transmitter you put down first? Yeah, it is. So say we want to turn it off right here. So the transmitter, no, that's the receiver. The transmitter point, no, the other way. So like that. So this guy is set to its own one. Right click, it's the channel five. And all I have to do now is just come in here and point it down into it somehow. And uh, this might be a little bit more tricky. I might need to put a few blocks at the back right here. So say up like that, put this down the way. There we go. Right, so I got myself a redstone comparator now to actually make it so it's redstone controlled. So now it's turned off. I can plug that back up. And now I can put the lever right here. And when I pull it, it will then allow mobs to spawn. Right, so all I need to do now is right click it with the star. Wait, I have it turned on, but the power isn't going into it. Maybe I have to point it in the back like this. I did turn on the lever, right? It's on, but it ain't receiving the redstone signal. Um. Oh wait, now it's on. So redstone signal on. You, unless you just naturally spawned, which doesn't make sense because I need to be near away. Um. Yeah, you're not you're just naturally spawning. Why isn't this working? Ah, whatever. So slap it with gas tears. Oh no, you definitely spawned from that. Why did I get slowness? That's why I feel like I just got slowness. Alright, you're maxed out sugar. So the only things I need to go get now is fermented spider eyes and clocks. Alright, so I got all the clocks I need now, so just add them all on. Okay, well, it actually used up a lot more clocks than I thought it would. But anyway, so fermented spider eyes, so this should be maximum mobs. 
Hopefully this doesn't cause any issues. But other than this redstone thing not <laughs> accepting it, I don't know. Maybe I should put it up here instead? So like, um... Oh god, you spawned. Yeah, D definitely spawned out of the spawner, but for some reason... It's turned off. So how does that make sense? Whatever, it doesn't matter. I think it's on, but technically not completely on. So it's kind of glitched out. So what I think I, if I, let me just put this on top. What happens? Okay, yeah, it's definitely spawning the mobs now like that. You know what? I'm just going to put this thing right here. Put that like that. Are they turned on now? No. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to put the lever underneath. It should still work anyway. If I put the lever underneath the middle, it should still activate. But where this torch is, if I put the lever right here, it should be providing a resonance signal under and into the block. Yes. Okay. So now I can just turn it on and off like that. But the other thing is, is it because it's bright? What if I made it dark? Oh yeah. Okay. So it's because it's not bright enough or it's too bright. Other question. Why aren't these guys taking damage from the well? Don't tell me the lever's turned off the ritual. It is in the... Yep, the lever turns off the ritual. Oh my god, can I not get a break from this thing? And now I'm out of life essence in my network. So I just need to keep this orb in here while it fills with blood. This thing will completely fill up now as well. And yeah, where did that lever go though? That's my question. Where, where did that fly to? It's there, what the heck? All right, I think my only option is just to drop in here, put it on, and then fly out. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to do that. Yep, there we go. There's our Well of Suffering completely hooked up. I have no idea why these redstone transmitters are not sending the redstone signal. It's really weird. But that'll have to do, so I'll just have to fly in manually and turn it off for now. And we're out of space and everything else, so I'm going to have to start using this chest for excess storage. But because we have this thing now, we could technically go ahead and actually make ourselves some steel casing right now. Because we will be getting into mechanism now next episode and maybe a bit of flux networks. So, and maybe even a bit of power because I'd love to get the energizing orb. But the electric paste is just coal inside a mana pool. And steel casing is of course 500 blood inside a tier 2 blood altar. And I do have 8 blocks of steel right here. So let's actually transform them right now. Wait, what, what did I press shift? So let's just add this in. The blood, wow this actually filled up really quick. I might need to get some sound dampeners because they're very loud. Oh, apparently I already have some soundproofing from when I soundproofed off the mobs over there. So I should be able to just add a square like this on top. And this should completely remove all noise. And I'll just put a torch up in the middle for... Oh, actually, I don't have a torch. Okay. There we go. Have you transformed yet? You should be almost ready. There we go. Our first steel casing. Which now allows us to actually start mechanism, which is amazing so the first things we need to do is a metallurgic infuser start upgrading everything into the alloy infuser and get ourselves a <laughs> configurator i need this configurator to actually start piping out stuff because right now like these pipes over here this thing probably would have been done all this stuff if it actually would pipe out stuff when i told it to but of course it doesn't so just need to put the orb back in here and i know this is probably another short episode but next episode We'll be doing a lot of mechanism stuff. We'll be setting up our metallurgic infuser. Getting everything ready down in this room here. Because I think I'm going to be doing this as the automated room. This room is actually probably big enough to do mechanism and refined storage. Industrial foregoing and maybe thermal series. Actually, thermal series in here? I don't actually think it is. Yeah, thermal series is in here. So we'll have mechanism, industrial foregoing, and we'll have our um, refined storage system over there. And we'll set up wireless access to everything. I need to be careful with my jetpack. It's really low on power right now. Which shouldn't be an issue much longer. Because with mechanism, as far, uh, we're going to be doing the ethylene system. So because of we're going to be doing the ethylene production, I might need to start making myself a big farm. Because I know we have this farm right here. And if you sprint around it, it of course just grows everything instantly. Which is nice and all. But I'm going to need a really big supply of potato. So, we're going to need a plant gatherer and a plant sower. We're going to be making a small carrot, potato, wheat, beetroot farm. All of the crops off that way. And then we'll also have animals over that way as well. Maybe we'll even use the special ritual from that to even speed up the growth of the mobs. We'll see. So, I'm going to end it there. Hope you all enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Hope to see you all in the next episode. So, without further ado, goodbye.